This video is sponsored by Loudon Utilities. You run up the scoreboard, we'll keep the scoreboard running. I think we're a little bit spoiled in that, um, you know, the success that we've experienced over the last two years has, has got us thinking about other things other than our team wins. So there's some, you know, just some things creeping in as far as stats and uh, uh, what am I what is my role, those, those kind of things. But anytime, what I've learned is as a team, when you commit to something for 10 weeks, at this moment of our season, you begin to ask yourself, uh, you know, what am, I, what am I getting out of my commitment? And so, uh, you know, a little bit of that's creeped in this week. And, and so we got to deal with some, some, I don't know if want to say egos, but just some off the field stuff uh, that takes away from on the field success. So. I thought our guys played well, you know. Hope County made us play some assignment football uh, because of the veer option, and, and we missed some of those assignments. So from the film standpoint, it's evident that when we weren't focused on the fundamentals, Hope County made us pay. Uh, we jumped off sides two or three times as a defense. So those are things that going down the road, we just can't afford to do. Go, kid. Well, they struggled, you know, they're one in five. Uh, very similar to Polk County, though. Coach Davis, who was a long time Polk County head coach, has his footprint still there with some of his assistants that are running the show now. So uh, I think the, the good thing and the positive thing for us as a team is that we're going to get a lot of the same reads, same looks uh, from one week to the next, which will help us build upon our performance Friday night.